crazy. So in one way or another, here's the gloomy girl, Dreadwin. Hello, I'm Dreadwin. No one was running this place when I got here. They left plenty of things behind, though. What do you need? Okay, let's see what you A got. A little food and drink will do you some good. Okay, she's got some weapons. Mediocre. And some wine. Hmm. Fell more red wine. That's a new one. Fortify health. 10 points for 120 seconds. Drain agility. Drain intelligence. No, thank you. Some potions. Hmm. Personality. Health, feather, disbelief. Detect life. Um, let's see some food. Gnarl is um, uh, like a tree creature in the. I think in Dementra. That's where they are. Could be in Mania too, I don't know. Um, but they dropped this. And I don't need it. Um. Mm, this is some kind of plant that's grown here. Anyway, I'm um, just kind of browsing here. Uh, she's got some random stuff. So let's talk to her about this. He protects the gates of madness. He'll kill anyone who gets near. Anyone except Relmina Veranim. She's staying upstairs right now. Okay, now we finally got somewhere. Uh, we'll leave the other two Goodbye. things for later. Now, let's um, make sure we have this quest thingy. Yeah, okay. Talk to... Oh, wait, why, why is my map... Oh, yeah, this... Um, I don't have the Shivering Isles edition of the mod that alters the map, so... You know, it gives the icons, but it doesn't have the colorization of the map like in the normal game. That's what it normally looks like, is uh, gray and boring. Okay, here's Romina Vernum. You wound me, and my heart bleeds with pleasure. Okay, she's um, a little creepy. I like her. <laughs> what have we here? Another hopeful whose blessing hasn't fully taken root? No, I don't think so. You're an adventurer? How disgusting. Why don't you go back the way you came? Okay, um, let's talk to you about this stuff. The gatekeeper is my child. The consummation of Sheagorath's wisdom in the womb of my genius. It was a painful and bloody birth, but well worth it. His brothers were less successful. You won't bother those blessed by Lord Sheagorath. You, however, will die trying to get the keys from my child. Okay, um, then I must kill the gatekeeper. Try him if you like. Believe me, after you die, I can put your flesh and bones to very good use. Okay. I'll find a way. I'm bored with you. Why don't you talk to Nanette? She likes talking. I'll need to cure her of that habit soon enough. Mm. There's one sure way to stop a tongue from flapping. Cut it out. Shall I demonstrate? No, thank you. I'm good. Okay, let's go talk to Nanette. Because she's a blabbermouth. And do you really need to get so close? Yes. Now, uh, Nanette's house. Let's go over here. There's Nanette. Oh, what was that? Hello? Is there something I can do for you? What was that? Hmm. Let's talk about the gatekeeper. He's Relmina's crowning achievement. The gatekeeper keeps out people who don't belong in the Shivering Isles. She made him in the gardens of flesh and bone. She's my teacher. She's going to teach me all her secrets. Yeah, and you're gonna... Oh, and this is really interesting. Wait. Oh, never mind. 
My big mouth almost just got me in trouble again. No, no, no. Go on. You, you can trust me. Let's talk about that again. It's just down the road from Passwall. It's where Elmina created the Gatekeeper. Okay, let's, um... I'm listening. Make her like us a little bit uh, more. I... Every little bit helps. And talk about the Gatekeeper again. I've been dying to tell someone. You seem trustworthy enough, but... Don't tell Relmina I said anything. Her Gatekeeper is flawed. Her tears hurt him. Uh, how do tears hurt him? Her tears somehow agitate the Daedra bound to the Gatekeeper's body. Her tears make it really restless. It strains harder against the warding magic. She may seem like a tough woman, but the Gatekeeper makes her all weepy. Go, see for yourself. She visits him every night around midnight. Mm. Just don't tell her I said anything. <laughs> I might get another lesson in the nature of pain. I don't like those lessons very much. Yeah, I wouldn't like them either. Okay, Bye -bye. thank you very much for all your help. And... Let's go talk to the yeah. other guy. Would you stop? That's just... Okay. This guy, Sheldon... No, not Sheldon. What am I talking about? The other guy. The guy who wants to kill the gatekeeper. Um... Either, yeah, I think he's over here. His house is way on the outskirts of town because he's kind of a social outcast. Because he talks to bones. <laughs> he's a social outcast among insane people. Hi. That's fine. I'm J Red Ice Veins. Do you ever wonder why things look better without their skin on? For instance, you can only really see the bones when you take them out. You can hear them better that way, too. Okay. <laughs> Gatekeeper, let's talk about that. I want him dead. I need him dead. His bones are calling to me. Rumor has it you want him dead, too. Yes, I do. If you're any good with a lockpick, we can help each other out. We can get into the gardens of flesh and bone. Yeah. They say the gatekeeper's magical. I don't believe in magic, but I do believe in bones. And the best way to kill something is with the bones of its own. I can see the bones of a dead gatekeeper in the courtyard of the gardens. The door's locked, though. You'll pick that lock, and I'll collect the bones. Then I'll make some arrows, and we'll kill the gatekeeper. Sound good? Yeah, sure, lead on. Here, take this lockpick. Careful, it's the only one I've got. You open the door, I'll kill things. Let's go. Yeah, I don't need the lockpick. I'm pretty sure... Let's see, where is he going? Um, isn't he supposed to be following me? Or... Okay. Just took him a second. Okay, we have to... F Whoa, he's fast. He's like... Super athlete. At least he waits for me. I guess all the people here are higher level than the people in, uh... The regular Oblivion games, so... They're faster. This is meant for higher level characters anyway. And let me really quick let's see number six. Yeah. It's my unlock spell and I'll use that instead of his Hurry, pick that lock open. I can hear them in there. Yeah. Move. Yeah, there we go. I'll let you fight them. Or whatever. Kill that. Whatever that is. Shambles. Oh, my frost attack is working. There we go. Ooh. Here we are. From these gatekeeper bones, I can make some arrows. 
Okay, then will these bone arrows be ready? Uh, Find me in a few hours. Bone, yeah. We'll kill the gatekeeper. Hmm. Okay. Those bones want out. Let's grab some bone shards from this creature here. And here's one of the gate old um, gatekeepers. Uh oh. Why are they always after me? I'll let him fight it. <laughs> or hold on. I will get my no, my fire spell usually lags quite a bit. Ooh, I can use since I'm a master of destruction now. I'm going to Let's see, where's that Havoc missile? There we go. I'm going to put that on here. Oh, I already had it. What am I thinking of? Okay. I'll have the Force Lightning on that again. Forgot all about that. Okay. Boom. Yeah, they explode in frost, so you don't want to be close to them when you fight them. Let's grab that. And we're going to wait a few hours since we have to wait for Vermina to get to the gatekeeper anyway. I'm going to wait about 12 hours. That'll put us at night time. She goes around midnight, so I'll wait again later. But he should have his bones ready. Yeah. He went back home, I guess. Here we go. Jumping over stuff. Yeehaw. I should really jump more. <laughs> it's fun. Okay. I'm not sure exactly when she comes out. I'm thinking it's midnight. But I can get his bone arrows now. We should go hunting soon. Okay. The arrows are ready. Here are some for you, and I'll keep some. Let's okay. go kill the gatekeeper. We might die, but there's worse things. Okay, wait here for a minute. Hurry, the bones are calling out to me. Yeah, I have to get the other, um, I want to get the, she's already outside, so, go over there first, oh, I'm on the wrong spot here, boing, well, oh, come on. No. Sometimes. <sighs> I wish that that spell that um I have the force jump it was a toggle spell instead of a uh, spell that you have to cast. You know, hit a button or something, and you can jump higher instead of. The other way. Now I have to wait here while she's crying about her gatekeeper, I think. Um, hold on. I think it's a different. Um, right. She comes out around midnight, right? I think. Do you got. Oh. She's supposed to be here, so I'm going to wait three hours or so. Yeah. And Vermina should be here. And I will cast that. Uh, she should be here already. And I am already. Oh, wait. Okay, good. 
should be coming. Let's loot these bodies here. Mm, nothing really good. Come on, come on, come on. She should be up here by now. Let's go find her. Oh, here she comes. I knew she was coming by midnight. There we go. I wanted to get all the options out of the way so I didn't leave anything for people who are like um, using bows and arrows or want to use the poison route. I could have killed him with my magic spells easily, I might add. I'm not sure if he has reflect magic though, so that could be a problem. And I'm going to use her tears on my sword, so yeah. Sneak over here. Look at all the bones around you. You have been a busy little boy, haven't you? <laughs> but still, he refuses. Why? I'm sorry, child. It's just too much for me. I must leave now. Why does it still hurt after all these years? Why? So she, uh, the sorceress has dropped a handkerchief full of her tears, which apparently can hurt the gatekeeper. I should get the handkerchief. Um, Gerald is still waiting to come fight the gatekeeper with me. Okay, let's get this handkerchief. Gives me three bottles, and then we'll go fight fight him with uh, Gerald. Because he looks like a good meat shield. You know, he'll direct his uh, punches towards him while I'm on the sidelines. Let's go to Gerald and... Uh, I don't know if you can give him the tears because I've never really done that. But um, you can put it on yourself. I'm on your own sword. We need to get through the gates of madness. Let's go kill the gatekeeper. Okay, follow me. I guess you can't give him. Let's go. The uh Yeah, I guess he'll follow me. All right, I'm not going to use his arrows, but just to let you know what they are. Um he gave me 20 gatekeeper bone arrows and they do two damage because I'm not very good at archery in this game but I'm gonna go here and go to Romina's tears yes I wanna poison my sword is he coming? okay now we're gonna go kill the gatekeeper Oh yeah, let me switch my spell to the Havoc Missile. Probably that'll help a little bit. I love that spell. On enemies that it doesn't kill right away, it drains their fatigue so fast it makes them fall over. <laughs> it's basically one of the better spells. I don't know where it came from, I mean which mod it came from, but let's wait till he engages combat. Come on. Yeah. Let him fight a little bit. It's like bleh. <laughs> did I kill him in one shot? Okay, I guess I did weaken him enough. Okay, you get the keys and the I guess gatekeeper bone arrows. The gatekeeper is dead. I should retrieve the keys. Duh, I already did that. Um I have both the keys to Mania and the key, uh, I have both keys. The key, yeah, key to Mania and the key to Dementia. I can go through either door of the gate of Mad Gates of Madness. The gatekeeper is slain. Congratulations. The honor of taking the keys from his corpse is yours. Already did it, buddy. I guess I did it too quickly. Okay. The gatekeeper's dead. 
As soon as you get one of those doors unlocked, we can go in. They're calling to me from in there. Hmm, yeah, okay, whatever. And those then bones. we're supposed to go. So, oh. you've managed to <laughs> kill the gatekeeper. Out. Pity. Well, you'll now be able to enter the realm proper. You'll notice there are two doors. One leads to the lands of Mania, the other to Dementia. Enter through either one. The lands are quite distinct, but both are Sheagorath's domain. You'll want to seek out Lord Sheagorath. I believe he has plans for you. Try not to disappoint him. Okay. Let's see what he says about the two different lands. The lands of Dementia reflect the darker side of its residents. It is easy to get lost among the tangle of roots growing out of the ground. If you wish to meet Dementia's citizens, seek them out in Deepwallow or Felmore. I'm sure they'll welcome one such as you with open arms. Yeah. 